What's up guys? TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. If you're like me, you love Mondays. It's the best way to start off your week in a positive mindset, working towards your goals, and you look forward to Mondays. The weekend's for you. If you have that mindset, the weekends are kind of like whatever, you know, it's just another day. You know, it's not like, oh, thank God it's Friday, blah, 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 blah. Like, if you love what you do, you really look forward to Mondays. So keep that in mind and keep working towards having that in your life to be able to look forward to Mondays, okay? So what I wanted to discuss today, guys, is just um, talking about contest prep, okay? And not only contest prep, but some secrets, in a sense, to contest prep, okay? Now, from what I see with a lot of people is like they kind of, in a general sense, they go from like zero to 100 when it comes to contest prep. You know, whether that's like just their their, uh, you know, their discipline, their focus, their, you know, their cardio, their nutrition, um, X, Y, Z, everything in, in between, you know, like supplements, everything in between. They go from kind of being like, you know, whatever and sort of, for lack of a nicer way of putting it, half-assing it to going like balls deep and just crazy, crazy, crazy with everything, you know? And I think that what a lot of people forget is that bodybuilding is like a year-round sport, you know? It's all about consistency. So when I look at contest prep, I don't necessarily look at it like, oh, I'm doing something drastically different than what I've been doing throughout my off-season. I look at it like, no, I'm just like subtly starting to tweak things and make adjustments because I want to improve leading into the show, improve my body composition, you know, improve my posing, improve my physique, X, Y, Z. And it's like, as you start to diet, you're able to make those adjustments, but you don't make drastic jumps, you know? And it's just like, I feel like when people start to make those drastic jumps, it affects other areas of their life too much, you know, like your, your mood swings, your this and that, and you just become so consumed by it so much. But it's like, if you just remain consistent throughout the year with what you're doing, it's not as much of a drastic jump to get into contest prep. Like if you're consistent with your diet uh, throughout the year, you're consistent with your training, consistent with your cardio, consistent with your, you know, your stretching, your posing, X, Y, Z. It's like, obviously in contest prep, those things become, you know, something you have to do more of, but it shouldn't be such a drastic jump to start contest prep. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be like a, oh, I'm starting prep. Oh, I'm starting prep. Oh, I'm starting prep. It's like, okay, like, what the fuck you been doing the last, like, nine months of the year, man? Like, you need to you need to have this consistency throughout the year, you know? It's like, a, it's a lifestyle. It's not just, oh, I'm prepping for a show and then off season, you know, whatever. You know, it's like, and I'm not saying this is what all people do, but I feel like I see this a lot now when people are like, you know, oh, yeah, prep, prep, prep. Like, oh, I'm so hardcore now. And it's like, no, no, shut the fuck up doesn't mean shit like honestly like you could put the same amount of effort into your off season as you did into that contest prep you'd see a crazy difference like for myself i try i keep like the same sort of like logic and the same sort of concept as i head into prep and the only reason for me to adjust that concept is if for example i feel like i'm behind now for myself like i was planning on uh you know, I was planning on doing the New York Pro, but um, basically I, it was kind of a rush, a rush decision to do it because, you know, I didn't really have a long break um, from when I competed last at the beginning of December in uh, 2021. And so I kind of like, you know, it was sort of a rushed idea to want to do it. And I kind of didn't, I didn't really got really into it, you know, to start dieting and everything until about 13 weeks out. And what I started to realize is like, as I started, I'm like, you know, my body's not responding as fast as it usually would. And I was kind of like, what the hell? Is this because I'm getting older? Like, what's going on? And, you know, after discussing it with like a few different people that I'm close with, um, I kind of came to the conclusion. It was just like my body just... You know, after dieting for like seven months last year and then, you know, only having like maybe a month, couple months to kind of, you know, be in like an off season, so to speak. Um, I just wasn't, uh, your body's not as ready to, to diet again. And if that makes sense, like your body is going to be a little more stubborn because it doesn't want to go right back into that process. You know, I, if you have like, you know, five, six, seven months of an off season, um, away from that contest prep dieting and everything, like it gives your body a better response you've been in a you know, caloric surplus, eating more food for a long time, so it's easier to be able to change directions after being in that uh, surplus for a while, right? So what I noticed was after a couple weeks, I'm just like, you know what, like my body isn't responding as fastly as I, like, I needed to, and I felt like I looked a couple weeks behind, so I just made the decision this past weekend. I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do New York, not like anybody's going to 
not like anybody was worried about me anyways, you know, because I'm like the guy that flies under the radar. But um, I'm going to focus my, my first show of the year as Toronto Pro. And uh, that gives me 12 weeks. And I feel, based on how I'm looking now, that I do look 12 weeks out. Um, and, like, I'm probably a, the heaviest, still the heaviest I've been, like, 12 weeks out of a show being 290 pounds. But um, I'm, like, my body composition has improved and I feel more confident being 12 weeks out and knowing that I have the time to do what I need to do to bring my very best. So... You know, that being said, I want to talk about some things that I do when I'm prepping that enable me to be successful, okay? Now, one thing that I like to do in prep, and I find this really helps with, like, your mindset and your focus and just, like, being able to, like, channel that positive energy that you need in prep is I like to read books. Now, I think a lot of you, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I always post, almost every day I post the Daily Stoic, which is, you know, Stoic philosophy, a lot of positive uh, affirmations and things like that, that, uh, kind of, you can apply to your daily life, you know, and I like to post those because it's just a positive thing for people to see and something they can kind of, you know, relate to or something that relates to their day or it sets the tone for your day, all that kind of thing. And that's something I like to do year round. Like I read that every day. I read the page every day. You know, I don't always necessarily read it right in the morning. It's like, you know, when I, uh, once I get down to my, my office, whatever, it's like, I'll read it and, uh, you know, I'll post it if I feel like it's a good one worth posting. Um, and that's something I do every day because it kind of sets the tone for your day, whether you're in prep or not. Um, the other thing is I'll find like good books to read, such as like the one that, uh, I'm reading right now. Just started about, started last week. It's called Grit and it's by, uh, Angela Duckworth. Now I'm only, you know, I've only read like the first like five, six chapters, so not, not super deep into it, but honestly, it just like gives you the mind frame you need, you know, talking about things that like you think about and like you need to think about, you know, it's like that grit, that intensity, that drive, that discipline, those things that you need to have when you're in prep or not in prep even, you know, and it's like, I like to, you know, take the time of day and whether it's half an hour, an hour, whatever the time I can set aside and just like, you know, read and like continue to focus on that mindset and reassure myself it's like this is why you're doing this you know this is what you're working towards this is what you need to be doing you know and it just like reassures that mindset you know and it just keeps you focused on the important factors of what you're trying to do instead of like you know getting led astray and being worried about stupid things like you know what so-and-so looks like on instagram or this guy's doing the show or this person's doing the show or blah 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 blah, blah. it's like i don't really care man like whoever does the show does the show that I'm, that I do, you know, like whoever does Toronto Pro or whatever other shows I do this year, it's like, I'm not going to sit here and worry about that. I'm going to focus on what I can control and focus on myself. Right. <laughs> and I feel like one of the biggest secrets of prep is not worrying about anybody else. And I don't mean that in the sense of people that are in your life, whether it's your, your spouse, your girlfriend, your family. I mean, that's obviously people you should still be worried about, obviously, because they're your close, the people that are close to you. But I don't, I mean, like in the sense of people on social media, the people that might be doing the shows you're doing, whatever the case, like who gives a shit what they look like? Who gives a shit what they're doing? It doesn't affect you. It doesn't matter. You can't control what they're doing. So stop worrying about it. If you took that energy and just channeled it back into what you're doing, you would see a lot better progression, you know? And I feel like a lot of people are always way too focused on comparing themselves to other people around them. And it takes away from what they're actually doing, right? And it's like whether you're in the gym and you see somebody else that's lifting heavier than you, or you see somebody else that has like, you know, better triceps than you or whatever the, whatever the case might be. You can't be so focused on that because it's going to take away from what you're trying to do, you know? And it just causes a distraction, causes, you know, you to feel down on yourself, you to feel this and that. And it's like, if you kind of drown out those insecurities and those insecure feelings and, you know, focus on things that are going to be positive and want to help you benefit your benefit and make you more successful at what you're trying to accomplish in prepping for a show, then you'll see a better end result. And for me, it's like, I take it week by week, you know, day by day and just focus on, you know, okay, this past week, say it's like, okay, I did one round of posing every morning. So it's like, okay, this next week, I'm going to do two rounds of posing every morning. And it's like, okay, the week after that, I'm going to do two rounds of posing in the morning and then one round of posing at night, like something like that, where it's like, you're slowly incrementing these changes and adding in a little more, um, a little more each week, you know, and like just making things a little bit more intense, challenging your body, challenging your mind and forcing yourself to improve, you know? And it's like, 
a lot of people just get ahead of themselves and just try and do too much too soon. And it's like, it's all incremental. Like whether you're at the pro level or, you know, a regional show, it's, it's incremental changes that are going to make you successful. Okay. So I hope those, uh, few little tips, uh, you know, kind of help you guys realize what you can focus on and things you can do when you're in contest prep to better be successful. And I would say if you're not someone who uses, uh, if you don't use social media for like a business, like coaching or a supplement company, like whatever the case might be that you're using social media, um, I would, I would just avoid it, you know, when you're prepping. Cause like, it's, you're just going to drive yourself crazy worrying about what other people look like when you could just focus on you and perform a lot better. Right. So that's, that's my best advice when it comes to that. And I also wanted to touch on, I don't know if you guys saw, like if you do follow me on Instagram, then you would see that I recently just posted about a new supplement company. Now, this is an exciting opportunity for me because like not only am I an athlete with the company, I'm the, you know, I'm like one of the, the part of the, part of the ownership too, actually. So I'm part of the, uh, part of the whole team behind it and it's really cool and the the name of the company is first detachment nutrition now this company is based out of the united the u.s and uh got a lot of good pro quality products um some are still in the works but like a lot of them there's most of them have been launched initially right now um so you're gonna have like good products towards like not just the training aspect towards the health supplement aspect, which a lot of bodybuilders need, right? Like you need those health supplements and this is going to be, you know, touching on those health supplements and having those in there as well as the, uh, you know, the performance supplements like your pre-workouts, your intra-workouts, post-workout kind of shakes and things like that, as well as your, your vitamins and the essential, you know, sub health supplements you need to be, you know, a, a open bodybuilder, right? Now I'm, I'm really excited for this because this has been in the works since, uh, since the fall, right? Like I didn't really, you know, broadcast at all because we were, you know, it was still in the works and it was going to launch a little bit earlier, but we just launched last week and, uh, you know, I'm really excited and I really can't, like, I'm going to be getting my, uh, all the products for myself, uh, probably later this week. So I'm going to be posting about that as well and showing you guys these products and, uh, you know, showing you what my reviews on them and how they work and X, Y, Z. So you guys will be able to see, you know, how the products, how I like them and, you know why they're the quality good quality products they are okay so if you are interested you can go check out the website i've put it in the description below and you can use my code relentless 10 uh to save you know 10 percent on your order at checkout so you know take a look check out the supplements and if you have any questions before you uh even if before you decide you want to buy something you can always feel free to send me a dm on uh, Instagram or whatever, or email, whatever, um, and I'd be happy to answer your questions because um, I stand behind these products, I stand behind this company, um, what they believe in and what they stand for in general, and uh, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good thing, you know, it's not, uh, like some of these other companies I find, like, they just, like, you know, they just pump out products and it's not really, they're not as concerned about the quality, right, so this is, like, going to be very good quality supplements, very very potent <laughs> for what you need, you know, and like, especially the health supplements, very potent health supplements. So, um, I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited and check it out. So, uh, make sure you do that uh, when you get a chance. Okay. So that's a wrap for, uh, for this video today. Um, if you guys like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment of something you'd like to see me discuss next or a training video you'd like to see next, full day of eating, whatever it is. You guys let me know what you'd like to see and I'm going to try and uh, start making that happen as uh, prep, pro prep progresses for me. Because <laughs> um, yeah, I'm 12 weeks out so it's uh, it's going to get fun now. This is time to, this is go time and uh, it's time to it's kind of make this happen and uh, get a W. Alright, so hope you guys have a great Monday and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe now.